Hey guys, architect Michael Huber. It is Friday, Friday morning and a beautiful day. So I'm going to blow it off to do yard work. Um, but I thought I'd show you a, a little project we have going here in the hometown. Um, it's a past client and they were uh, looking at adding a carriage house. Um, kind of add, uh, connect the garage to the house, which currently does not exist. So let's look at some existing photos of the home. You can see there's some nice charm and character to the home. This is the, the front of the, of the house. Here's the existing garage uh, detached in the back off the alley. So that's where we will be adding this new carriage house. Uh, spin around here. Uh, the rear of the home. So basically we need to connect right here um, a link piece that will then extend back uh, to the garage back here and then Matt from my office. Um, so what we did is uh, look at a few different variations. I mean, we had the given of, you know, the setbacks and, and the site, et cetera, and the footprint of the existing garage. We could grow that, you know, in one or two directions, which we did, but then it was important to connect uh, this to the home. And there's also a grade change um, from obviously the, the home to the uh, floor of the garage. So here is kind of the basic setup. The existing home is here. Here's where we're breaking through. We have this link piece. Uh, they wanted a little mudroom area, extend the garage a little bit. Here's the line of the existing garage and then have a stairway going to an upper level because um, ideally they'd, they wanted to have a little living area with the kitchenette, bathroom, two bedrooms, um, which could be offices um, because you know we're all working at home um, more uh, these days. And uh, so they wanted to try to incorporate that in as well. So in terms of what this might look like massing wise, um, so here's the existing, existing home. Here's where we're kind of breaking through that link piece and then the uh, garage carriage house addition. Now what we did is we tried to match the existing pitch of the home, but tried to keep it low, um, but we needed to add some dormers in to make this space usable because we didn't want it to overpower the volume of the existing home. Um, we also looked at what it would take to have solar panels on, on the roof here. So one of the interesting aspects of this addition is that the homeowner has a Tesla car right now and uh, has the Tesla Cybertruck on order, which hopefully I'll get a ride in that. I can't wait to see that. Um, and wanted to add some solar panels to help with the charging. And so what would that look like? Well, here in our uh, latitude, um, the angle for uh, maximum efficiency of solar panels is like a 3 or 412 pitch. So I wanted to show what impact that would have. So you can see it doesn't relate at all to the character of the of the home anymore. Um, but again, it was just an exercise to show them what that might look like. So then as we we tried moving the stair uh, in a variety of different locations, played with that link a little bit. Um, here's an example of, of the link we thought rather than just having it be a gallery space or a long hallway, uh, maybe we could include some storage in there, um, some display, place to throw your keys or, or whatnot as you come into this mudroom. And then um, maybe we enclose that a deck or enlarge it a little bit and make it a screen porch. That was one of the things that, that she had hoped for way back when, when I worked with them in the past. Um, still having a stair going to an upper level, uh, different variation, moving the bathroom here, uh, etc. Uh, but then um, we started to narrow in on a volume. Um, so we looked at the existing home and, and you can tell there's there's lots of different roof shapes here, a lot of character to it. What could we borrow on 
to help this edition tie in. And uh, we thought, well, let's try this uh, jerkin head roof. Yes, that's what it's called when the gables are chamfered like this. Um, and you can see to try to get livable space up there, we need a certain bearing height, still need dormers so we don't you know, hit our heads in there. But when we do that, the, the, the volume, the scale of the carriage house is starting to uh, approach the scale of the home. And that felt a little awkward to us. Now it definitely helped pulling the existing roof over the dining area out um, to enclose the screen porch to give you know some more scale to the home but that volume still felt uh, a little heavy and then in talking to the homeowners they thought well you know maybe it's not that important that we have this extra living space etc but we'd still like to have some office uh, space so we looked at saying well okay what if we get rid of that upper level kind of and uh, add uh, office space in place of a stair. Um, so the, the footprint basically stayed the same, uh, grew a little bit, but then you come into mudroom, little bench, coat area, but then we've got these smaller office uh, spaces that flank the mudroom for them. Uh, still have this uh, storage gallery space, screen porch, etc. Uh, here's the size of the cyber truck. Wanted to make sure that would fit in there. Um, but that started to make sense. And then uh, the, uh, the volume on that um, felt a little better. So you can see here we were able to, to lower the bearing. We don't need the dormers anymore. And the upper level, we can be way more efficient because we can use box trusses. So basically just manufactured trusses uh, with the bottom um, being structurally sufficient to support a floor. So it's basically a truss, but with a hole cut out in it. So we'd have this uh, shaft of usable space uh, with the window on this end. And they'd basically just use that for storage. So I have a drop down ladder in the garage or stair in the garage that they could um, access that. Uh, but volume wise that felt or scale wise that felt better as it related to the existing house. So that is the direction that we went. Uh, let me jump to the construction drawings here. Okay so here's here's the main level. Here's the existing house. The screen porch here's where we're coming through you can see we, we utilize that link space to make up the grade difference uh, between the main house and the garage area we've got some storage here a, a spot for them to kind of stack their dog kennel um, office office little mud room even a little uh, dog door dog run so the dog can go in and out of the yard uh, but then the owners were like, is there any way we can get a stair in there versus having the drop down stair just be more convenient, which I agree. Um, so what we did is we said, let's, let's get sort of the, the minimum stair we could that's allowed by code and see what that did. So, so that's basically what this stair is. We can, you can see we can still get vehicles in here. It took up some space, uh, but not, not too bad. Um, and as we go to the upper level, uh, basically, you come up the stairs, we've got some storage to, to the left and, and a large bonus room or more storage to the right. And we've added some skylights to, to get some more light in there. So um, just wanted to update you on this project. It's up for bid now. We'll, we'll follow along with it, but super nice people. Um, eventually, the shingles will be replaced with the Tesla electric uh, photovoltaic shingles. So that'll be kind of interesting to see as well. And again, hopefully I'll get a ride in that truck. Um, but as usual, thanks for watching and uh, uh, I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe. Wear a mask, please. Um, keeps all of us healthy and keeps all of us, all of our businesses uh, open as best as possible and we'll get through this together. So again, be well and thanks for watching.